Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. On today's episode, what I wanted to talk about was uh, video inspection equipment. And, you know, usually that stuff is very cost prohibitive. Um, you know, the last unit I used, it had a four millimeter cable like this. Uh, it was an Olympus unit. It's uh, what they use for inspecting jet engines and everything else. And it runs about $65,000, which you can do on screen measuring and everything else. So that's really not something that most people are going to go out and buy. I've got another unit here. It's called a MITCOR or MITCORP unit. Um, this is what they use in a lot of automotive industries. Uh, it's a really, really good unit. It's about $8,000 or so, and it's chemical resistant. And the, you know, all the lines here, this guys, this right here is a 6.52 millimeter cable. Um, the problem is I can't get it into my 6.5 Creedmoors or my ARs or anything like that because the cable is so large. Now, one of the things that really makes these cost so much are the controllers because you know even if you were doing surveillance or something like that under a doorway you can make this thing move around like a little worm and look at different angles but if you don't necessarily need to make turns let's say you're looking down a bore on a rifle or something like that this isn't necessary um, the controllers you can also increase your brightness of your of your light you can also take pictures and videos and everything and save them to sd cards but for most people, that is not going to be something that you can afford or want to try to afford because you're not going to use it that often. Uh, the last time this was actually used uh, for a really good situation was something that Rick had a had a possible leak inside of his house with his year six covered. So he just drilled a little small hole, fit it in there, and he was able to look around and inspect all the pipes and everything, and everything was perfect. So a friend of mine actually sent me something called an endo snake, and I asked him how much it cost, and he said it was sixty or $50. Uh, plus shipping ended up being about $60 and it came in this little case just like this. Also came with some accessories. Now when I opened it up I didn't know what to expect. It was made in China. It was rather cheap looking but he knew I was looking for something that had a smaller diameter. And so guys this right here measures 3.9 millimeters. So this is going to fix, fit into everything from your 17 HMRs to your 22 long rifles, your ARs, and like I said it's less than $60. Now I did not, did not buy the Wi-Fi kit that goes for an iPhone. Now this is really kind of set up more for an Android where you can just plug it straight in. So what I'm gonna do is I had to download an app. Once I downloaded the app, all I had to do was, the app looks like that, I don't know if you guys can see it. And it comes with a different a couple different connectors, but once you plug this in to the phone itself, the Android, I want you to notice it has a controller here. Now this controller here will give you the ability to take pictures and also it's got this little thumb wheel to be able to adjust your brightness of your camera. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Rick hold that. Yeah, there you go. If you'll hold this and then I'll work the wheel. So that has an onboard light. If you guys can see it, how I can increase the brightness and I'm gonna start to decrease it. So it works just like that. It works very, very well. And I'll run it through the muzzle of this Garand here in just a second. And you guys can see and see some detail and see if it's something that would work for you. Hold on for just a second. That came unplugged. All right, so now we've got... The camera here. So if you guys can see this, I'm going to let Rick hold that. We're going to change ends. And what I'm going to start doing is feeding this into the Garand. Is that clear, Rick? Yeah. Need more light? Or are we good? <clears throat> Go in a little more. A little more light. Okay, so I'm going to start increasing the brightness. You guys see that? So it has all the, the clarity that I would need to be able to see. There you see. go, right there. That's okay, now guys, what I'm going to do is you I'm going to... see the copper fouling... I'm going to run this all the way to the end, and I want to see if you guys can see something. I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm trying to do a lot of different things here at once. Okay, so I'm going to run it to about right there. Do you see anything, Rick? Here, do it this way first. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, guys, at the bottom of the screen, what you're going to see there is the gas vent for the barrel to be able to work the op rod. And if I wanted to, I'm just gonna press this button and you guys are gonna see that it's gonna take a picture. And it should have taken the picture just then. Did you see that? Did yep. it do it? Okay, so I'm gonna start running this back. But like I said, guys, cost alternative, 
you know, or a cost option, you know, for $50, you've got video inspection equipment. It also came with some, uh, some pretty handy little things that I could see someone using. Uh, it comes with a little hook tool like this, and this would actually attach, and it actually locks on to this stainless end here. And they also had one with a magnet on it like this. So if you're trying to fish an object, you could actually just touch it and it would drag it out. So guys, this is the company here, Endo Snake. There's also a coupon code on here called Welcome15. So when you go to the cart, it would save you 15% off. And then it's pretty simple, simple to use. And like I said, if you end up having an iPhone and you're not an Android user, you'd want to get that Wi-Fi block. I just wanted to give you some information just to let you know, because you know, growing up, I always wanted scopes for the uh, for the rifle, the video scopes to be able to check lands and grooves and copper fouling and things like that. And this is a good option for you. All right, guys. So this is an M1 Garand, and what I want you to notice is what do you see there? Lo and behold, there's a hole in the barrel. I want to insert a paper clip into the other side so you guys can see this. But this is where your gas port is for your op rod, right in there. And you see how I just went in that hole with that paper clip with a 90 degree bend on it? So being able to see things and seeing if we get any erosion, you know, ARs will start to erode in this area right in here if the barrel has really been shot out. So that's one of those things you could check. Um, this little video bore scope could fit in your pocket. Let's say you went to the gun show and you wanted to check on a barrel to see if it was a smooth bore or if it had lands and grooves, it would be an option for you. So it's actually pretty cool. It's really funny because Rick and I were looking at this and some of the detail you can see, even with this $50 video scope, is pretty cool. It was, uh, guys, so this is a, a non-user serviceable suppressor, okay? So basically, if I wanted to go inside and see if maybe the primary blast baffle here right now we're in the pistons but if this primary blast baffle if the hole was closed up or anything like that should actually have a vent hole somewhere coming up here it's usually in a primary blast baffle on a, on a suppressor there it is i don't know if you guys can see that in the bottom corner of the screen at six o'clock so it's not plugged up so we know we're good and then looking in here we can look at the uh configuration is it a k baffle setup sorry So yeah, for $50, I'll take it. I'll buy that all day long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to bring you some more videos and uh, quite a few before SHOT Show. And give this video a thumbs and up. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.